Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on some of the best Steam PC game deals under the price of $10 from our good friends over at Green Man Gaming. We are partnered with Green Man Gaming and if you buy anything, I do get a little bit of a kickback so that is much appreciated but you get Steam keys for all of these games and they've got some great deals so let's just get right into it and let's kick things off with the Deus Ex Collection. This is a loaded collection including a lot of great titles. Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition. Deus Ex Invisible War, Deus Ex The Fall, which, uh, the, the great titles, I guess, don't apply to Deus Ex The Fall as much, I'm sorry, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and the Mankind Divided DLC Season Pass, all of that can be had for $8.03, you're really paying for Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, both of those are well worth the money, um, Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition and Invisible War, obviously pretty good, but, uh, they very much show their age at this stage of the game, Game of the Year Edition, uh, is really, really well received. However, again, it's a game from, I think, the late 90s, so... Like, you're, go you're going back quite a ways, but Deus Ex Human Revolution and Mankind Divided still hold, hold up fairly well. And there are rumblings that another Deus Ex title is in early development. We probably won't get that for a while, but that is at least exciting to know. $8.03 for this bundle is great. Next up, we have Ghost Runner, 75% off for $7.56. There is a complete edition, which is on sale, but it's $20.15, so kind of expensive there. Um, Ghost Runner's a really solid action platforming parkour game. A lot of, uh, a very, very unique game, but also very challenging, and damn it, it made me damn near break my controller, so... Um, you know, I still enjoyed it, and what I liked about Ghost Runner is, while there is gonna be a lot of times where you're gonna fail, it gets you right back into the run very quickly, so it's a very, very addicting and engaging experience. Soundtrack is really good, and the story is pretty interesting, even though it has some predictable aspects to it. I think overall, the game is pretty solid. $7.56 seemed like a good price to me. Next up, Stalker Bundle, Stall, uh, Stalker Call of Pripyat, uh, Clear Sky, Shadow of Chernobyl. These games are really, really good. Obviously, there's a little bit more attention on Stalker right now with the impending release of Stalker 2. Fingers crossed for early 24 on that. But um, these games do show their age. But they're a, fran they're a group of games that I feel like a lot of PC gamers would really, really enjoy. They're more emphasis. Uh, they have more emphasis on the atmosphere, engaging, realistic type games gameplay that doesn't hold your hand as much, which, you know, the common comparison is like Fallout, but Fallout these days pretty much holds your hand, so, uh, Stalker a little bit more challenging in that regard, I think the, uh, the trilogy of games for 960, I feel like that's a pretty good price, and, uh, would give that a shout. Next up, we have Uden Chronicle Rising, 50% off for 755. Now, this is the prequel to Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes, which is scheduled for a release, uh, later in 2024. It's a side-scrolling action platforming RPG. It's pretty good, although also fairly standard, like, kind of basic from a fundamental gameplay standpoint. I found the story to be pretty interesting. A charming game all in all. If you like side-scrolling action titles, you'll enjoy the game. It is more of a setting the table for 100 Heroes, but it's still, you know, a 15-hour game, so... $7.55, I would say, is a decent price for Eden Chronicle Rising. Next up, before you get your pitchforks out, let me explain. Marvel's Avengers The Definitive Edition is 90% off for $4. Look, the game is about to get pulled from Steam. Do you want a complete Steam library? Well, there you go. You can have your opinion on Marvel's The Avengers, but uh, a lot of people want games like this in their Steam library, so when they get pulled, you still have access to them, you can still play them, and that's something that people appreciate. It's gonna get pulled at the end of this month so jump on it as soon as possible and when the game gets pulled you can still play the game it's not like it's gonna get completely deactivated so think of it what you want the game like if you go into it at this point you're probably going with your expectations in the basement so from that standpoint you'll probably be like yo this is actually a little bit of fun like i'm dude people me saying it's even a little bit of fun people are gonna be like bro you have the worst taste in gaming ever but um Yo, for $4 and to, you know, complete the Steam library before this gets pulled, I think it's a decent pickup. Look, if you think I'm um, out to lunch with that take, more power to you, but uh, do you want to complete your Steam library? Well, there's no way to complete your Steam library, given you'll never have fall, a fall for Cybertron. Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron, Deadpool. If you don't have those games in your library, they're gone forever, but... 
you can have Marvel's Avengers in your library, so whatever. $4 on that. Take it for what it is. Next up, want to give a shout out to the entire trilogy of Tomb Raider games. Tomb Raider 2013, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider are, are all on sale. Tomb Raider 2013, the base game is $2.58. Game of the Year is $3.44, but honestly, you can get the standard edition and be fine. Rise of the Tomb Raider is $5.16. This, in my opinion, is the best game in the entire franchise. I think it is a tremendous, tremendous game really improved upon Tomb Raider 2013. Narratively pretty good. PC performance uh, was good in my experience. Visually looks good. Story is decent. Like, it's overall a really good game and a lot more content than Tomb Raider 2013 as well. Just a really, really well-made game. And, um, you know, like, Tomb Raider is often compared to the Uncharted games, and in my opinion, Rise of the Tomb Raider is up there with the best Uncharted games. Like, maybe some people think that's a stretch, maybe some people think that's the hottest of hot takes, but uh, I would put ROTR up there with, like, Uncharted 4, like, they came out around the same time. And, uh, yeah, I thought the game was really, really good. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 78% off for eight sixty. Now, this is the definitive edition, which is nice because this game had an egregious amount of DLC, which, like, so before the release of SOTR, Square Enix laid out, like, this seven-month DLC plan for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and it was like, bro, Square, what are you doing? Like, it's good that Square is just gonna stay in their lane now and work on their JRPGs because while they, you know, had Western hits like a Shadow of the Tomb Raider, like some of the Deus Ex games, they also, they're, they're handling of some of these franchises franchises is very very questionable thankfully with SOTR the definitive edition you get all the DLC content this game kind of faltered from a narrative standpoint which is unfortunate but it's still a really really well made game like the gameplay is still solid and it's got a sizable amount of content I would still say give it a look at eight dollars and sixty cents I think it's a good pickup so you know check that out next up XCOM to the collection 93% off for 704 excellent tactics title has war of the chosen in there as well always a good pickup in terms of content in terms of rewarding gameplay can get fairly challenging but even if you're not super into tactics games like this game isn't gonna like completely obliterate you at least I don't think it will so I think this is one that is pretty good to get into the uh, get into the genre, or even just a game to play, even if you're not into the genre. Enemy Unknown was the game that didn't get me into the genre, but I, I really enjoyed Enemy Unknown, and obviously, from that standpoint, I enjoyed XCOM too. Lastly, I want to give a shout to Control Ultimate Edition, 79% off for $8.40. Look, Remedy's next title in Alan Wake 2 is going to be out soon. With Control Ultimate Edition, you do get a Steam key. Alan Wake 2 will be Epic Game Store exclusive. Not going to get into that diatribe right now, but Control's an awesome game. Visually looks great story I found it a bit confusing at first but that's kind of like Remedy's forte and then it like comes together pretty nicely more of a psychological game but I think this game from a gameplay standpoint is also really really good um I think it's like from a Remedy standpoint some of the best gameplay that they've had which isn't saying much if you compare to like Alan Wake and Quantum Break and games like that but I think Control is really really good from that regard and 840 with the DLC feel like that's a really solid deal but that is gonna do it for me again links to all of these deals as always will be in the description box down below check it out there and as always guys thanks for watching if you buy anything again i get a little bit of a kickback so i just want to make that abundantly clear but for all these games you do get steam keys so check them out links down below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.